On Eyewitness News this Sunday morning, two people are shot, including a child, and Wichita police are searching for who did it. Plus, Wichita State still undefeated. Big day for Shockers fans yesterday and a big day for Kansas teams altogether. It's a great day. It was a great basketball day. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. It was a horrible windy day in terms of the weather, but a lot of people inside watching the games. We, yeah, exactly. It was a great day to, to stay inside. KU won, K-State won, Shockers won, Shocker women won. I mean, it was great. Yeah, good. can't get any better win than today, that, right? I mean, we're just going to be <laughs> You solid. always got to throw that Broncos thing. Well, I mean, I'm wearing Broncos colors. I yeah. figured well, I, you know. and that game is televised right here on KWCH at 2 o'clock, so it should be an exciting game against the Patriots. And the weather is going to be nice. Get outside and enjoy it. Cocarina striped in black and yellow as the Shockers up their record to 19-0 Saturday. They beat Indiana State, a team that gave them some problems at Coke Arena last year. You might remember last year, the Shockers were the 15th ranked team in the nation when Indiana State came into the roundhouse and beat them by double digits. This year it was the Shockers game. They held Indiana State to just 48 points. Ron Baker led the Shockers with 16 points. He and Fred Van Vliet continue to make a dangerous backcourt for Greg Marshall and Shadrach Lufiel uh, finished with a double-double. The Shocks finish the afternoon with a 68-48 win, and the wins keep coming. The Shocker women also won at Coke Arena Saturday. They trounced the Panthers 80-47, meaning both Shocker teams are in first place and undefeated in Valley play. We'll have those full highlights and reaction from both games coming up in sports. And with Saturday's win, the Shockers men have now won 13 straight games at Coke Arena dating back to last season. It's a place the home team can find inspiring and the road team intimidating. Bruce Hurdle tells us more about Coke Arena's mystique. It has a reputation that this is really a great Saturday for Kansas basketball. KU won, K State won, the Lady Shockers won. We're going to show you all the winning highlights and reactions from their games a little later in sports. Police are looking for who shot two people on Wichita's north side. It is in our crime watch this morning. The two are still in the hospital. Wichita police arrived near 21st and Amidon to find a young boy and an adult man lying on the ground. The victims were conscious and able to talk to police before they were taken to the hospital. The adult male was in serious condition. The juvenile male was had, had a minor wound. We're currently still processing the scene. The investigation is ongoing. Police have not arrested anyone for this shooting and they have not released the names or the ages of those victims. Another suspect involved in the Pennsylvania shooting turned himself in. The teen did so yesterday afternoon. Two others have been questioned and released by police. We're continuing coverage on the gymnasium shooting. This is a quick look at and I'm calling it now Broncos versus the 49ers in the Super Bowl. Dean, what's your call? Uh, the Seahawks and the Broncos and Seahawks by three. That's what I've got. What? <laughs> I go for the underdog, Jade. It's uh, going to be an exciting We're game no matter who plays in the Super up. Bowl. That's a, still a long ways away. And the good news is the weather forecast is Jade. All right, tailgating is already starting this morning for some at least. The AFC and NFC championships kick off today. The Broncos and Patriots will face each other for the AFC title game in Denver, and it's going to be a good one. Diehard Bronco fans started lining up last night outside the stadium. They're going to be allowed into the parking lot this morning. Some people have been camped out for days, but Broncos fans, they're not going to complain. We actually got here about 9.30 yes last night. Well, it is, but you know, we got here at 9.30 last night and we still weren't the first in line. He's talking about 9.30 on Friday night. You can watch the Broncos Patriots game here at 2 o'clock on KWCH 12. The Seattle Seahawks fans are gearing up for their big game today against the 49ers. This is the second weekend for the Hawk Walks there. The Kenmore Washington mayor even came out to celebrate with the fans. Their game is on later on Fox. Police are investigating three armed robberies at different fast food restaurants around Wichita. That's in your crime watch this morning. All happened Friday night. Two on the east side, a subway near Woodlawn and 21st Street. A second at a Burger King near Douglas and Rock. 
The third was actually in southeast Wichita at a KFC near Harry and Woodlawn. Police say in all cases, robbers entered the store with a handgun and demanded money. The suspects got away with an unknown amount of cash except for the time at KFC. No arrests have been made. Police investigate a homicide after finding the body of a man inside a Lawrence home. Officers were actually checking the home of a woman reported missing by her family and said the police found the man's body with traumatic injuries. Investigators are still looking for 19 year old Sarah McLean. She has not been seen for several days. Take a look at this video. Fire crews responding to a massive tire fire yesterday morning at a tire depot in Missouri. The thick black smoke could be seen for miles. Fire officials say the fire burned for over three hours. Investigators are looking into the cause of this fire. First Lady Michelle Obama celebrates her 50th birthday with an all star guest list. Celebs left the party early this morning. Stars like Magic Johnson, Smokey Robinson, Samuel L. Jackson and Gladys Knight, Mary J. Blige. All of those attended the party. John Legend actually sang happy birthday to the First Lady and Beyonce sang a lot of her uh, hit songs. Guests gushed over how great the First Lady looked and said that she and the president looked very much in love. The highlight was the first of all that we were here for the First Lady's birthday. And that was the highlight, and the president gave a wonderful, wonderful speech about her. And then Beyonce performed, and wow. In case you were wondering, guests say Mrs. Obama wore red and black, and they say she looked stunning. Text Me 12 keeps you connected with breaking news, weather alerts, sports updates, and much more right to your phone. If you want to continue our service, you need to resubscribe. You and new subscribers can do so right now on KWCH.com, or you can wait for the commercial break. That'll be here shortly. Click the banner and follow the links to sign up. An online thank you letter to a stranger goes viral, and tree houses, they're not just for your kids. This is a grown-up tree house. We're going to show it to you coming up. Expect more on KSCW. This is Eyewitness News, Sunday morning in high definition. Online at KWCH.com. Follow KW. And it is trash talking time. I have noticed that this morning. Uh, we have uh, a Patriots fan. I'm not a Patriots no, fan. No, you aren't. Okay. But our producer is. Oh, okay. And, there you go. Um, yeah, so that's happened this morning. And until the Super Bowl is over, let's be honest, it's not I'm guessing that she, right, our producer, is a Tom Brady fan. I believe something like that. Anyway, this is the 49ers fans out there. They took the trash talk to another level, leveling off a Seahawks sculpture that's made out of snow. Big, this is a big sculpture. Yes. Um, I believe like 30 feet wide, 12 feet high. Bulldozer comes and just takes her out. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. This is in Lake Tahoe. Big 49er fans, I guess. So. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, Lake yeah. Tahoe. But uh, yeah, we'll see. It's going to be an interesting game. I have a lot of friends that are 49er fans, and I just like to pull for the underdog today. <laughs> we'll see. I've, uh, you know, I, I've asked people on our, our KWCH Facebook page, and we're getting differing things. Now, I'm going to say that the Broncos overall have a lot of support on our Facebook page. We do no have doubt. some uh, one. Patriots fan that has commented so far. A <laughs> lot of people going for the Seahawks, not a lot of 49ers. So uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see. You never know. It's football. <laughs> All right. We've got more coming up after the break.